Hello, everybody. Hey, I'm Kath. I'm Max. And this is our night routine. I thought you were gonna say it with me. All right, let's try one more time. Hey guys, welcome to my night routine. Hey guys, it's Christina here and Barrett for the first time ever in a nighttime routine video. And this is my nighttime routine with a four week old. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome to my zen night routine. Oh, I have a bug bite. Oh my gosh. Right when I said that. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that is itchy. So we're just chilling right now. Um, I'm feeding him dinner and then right there, feeding myself dinner as well. I'm having fruit and some vegetable sausage thingy and then giving him his dinner. And then we are gonna give him a kind of a bath the lower half of him a bath. And um, my night routine is definitely different than it used to be because I used to do a lot of different stuff and it was just me, but now I got this little guy. So this is gonna be a first for me. So usually I will go for a run in the evening. Um, I did not do that today, but we'll just pretend that I did for the video's sake. Wow, that's a hard run. <laughs> I am just exhausted. Wow. Time to take a shower. Welcome to Let's Get Chillin' with Amy. Yeah, my hair is bright pink. I just went shower or er, swimming and I thought that that was gonna take the color out a lot, but it didn't really, so. Okay, everyone says it's red, but it's pinkish, reddish, cranberry-ish. Anyway, hair colors aside, I am here tonight to show you my night routine. I'm really nervous because I, as I say every time, am not a lifestyle guru, okay? I don't know what that means. I don't live that life. Hey, I'm Kath. And I'm Max. And this, this is, is our, our night, night routine. routine. <laughs> yeah. So our night routine starts as most people's, I don't know if most people would consider this part of their night routine, but ours is definitely with dinner first. We cook dinner together. Max, what are we making tonight? Steak, corn, rice. Grilled salad. corn on the cob. You know, gotta yeah. get that summer vibes. And then rice and salad. So Max is um, doing the grill and then I'm doing um, the rice and salad. So we kind of collaborate on dinner usually. So we'll check back in and show you guys what we're making in a little bit. I'm in my car. Cause I just got home from my fiance's house where I like to eat food, watch TV and Mostly past gas. <laughs> this is where my night routine usually begins because I come home and go straight to bed. So let's dive into it. The first thing I do is I come up in my room. Oh, hey, Charles. And I put my purse on my closet door because everything has a place and it needs to be in its place. So that's where it goes. You'd think from my closet that I would take it very seriously that everything has a place or whatever, but obviously that is not true of the rest of my room. Hey, Charles. I'm using my wide lens to show you what an awful pigsty this is. All right, so I'm feeding him his dinner right now. But listen, guys, don't let this face fool you. This is the face of a woman who has not slept in years. Well, four weeks. Um, last night, he was up like every hour and a half. So I have not really slept much at all. I think I look pretty chipper for that. Oh, there's Nick. He's feeding Frankie. That's part of the nighttime routine, but not my part. Thank you, Nick, for doing that. But yeah, I haven't slept for a while. I look like I have energy, so good for me. So then I get out of the shower and then I do my skincare regimen, which I will show you. I either use makeup wipes or I will use like an actual face wash. I don't really have any makeup on except for a little bit of concealer right now. Clean, 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 I gotta get the neck because you know there's always leftover foundation on the neck. And I would use this if I was using it. So then I use this thingy. All of the skincare that I use is Drunk Elephant. I don't know what happened, they hypnotized me. They like, only use our products. I was like, okay. Glycol, glycolic, glycolic, don't know. Night Serum. Apparently it's like a liquid exfoliant where it just like eats away at the dead skin, I think. 
but like without exfoliating it's just like acid like and then i let it dry so like first off i spend basically every evening that i can alone in my room because i love it i love my room I will show you that after this. Also, Lauren thinks I should trim my hair. I am inclined to agree with her. I haven't cut it since November of last year. Yes, guys. So let's, as they say, jump in to the video. I don't know what you call this. Teeth brushing, skincare, flossing, mouthwash, extravaganza, as my dad would say. All right, we just finished cooking dinner and putting everything together. And then Max made the steak. And then I made a salad. And I also made Kat's magic rice, which is a recipe that I made up. Max, is it good? Yes, it's good. <laughs> I feel like I contributed though. I provided the ingredients. But yeah, that's our spread and we're about to eat dinner. Okay, I really want to show you guys our dining room table because we just got it recently and I love it so much. It makes me so happy. So I'll show you our table and our setup with our dinner. Okay, this is our table. This is our end of summer dinner, trying to get the most out of summer. Okay, so the real first step of winding down is shutting off my main light turning on my lamp. Oh my gosh, get some ambient lighting. And I have to shut this hallway light off because this signals to my brain that I'm wide awake. Um, to give you some context, it is about 12.30 a.m. It's midnight, so getting ready to wind down. Don't I seem so chill and tired and ready to fall asleep? I'm not. So this is the time where I'm kind of psyching myself up for tonight, like, okay, it's okay. You're not gonna get a bunch of sleep, most likely, but I'm just trying to accept it and be like, you're gonna be okay. You don't have to get sleep right now. You're gonna be fine. You will sleep again. This is all gonna pass. It's all gonna change. It's gonna be okay. So I'm like giving myself a big pep talk at this point, trying to accept it. Cause I notice that if I'm laying in my bed and I'm like, I just wanna sleep. And I keep saying that over and over and over just gets worse. So instead I'm just like, you may not sleep and you're going to be okay. Acceptance, acceptance. So that's what I'm doing right now, giving myself a pep talk. So then the next thing I do is um, this proteiny polypeptide cream and this virgin marula luxury face oil. It has this cool thing where like, you like this, oh, and it comes out in this little oil and you just drop Drop, drop. And then it's kind of like a mixing plate of both. Smelling of both. It's nice for my face, you know, not too aggressive. I'm not mad at my skin. I'm nice to it, just gently. Got that on. Cool, cool, cool. Oh man. Rip. Usually I brush my teeth first so that I don't like get all this off, but I forgot about that. So I'm gonna brush my teeth. Use these flossers. <laughs> okay, this is my problem. I can't open them. I'm pretty sure these are for kids, but aren't we all kids at heart, right? So I always start this out with floss, but I have lost my floss, aka used it all. And I was supposed to go to the store today and rebuy it, but I forgot until this minute. So we do what we gotta do. So first of all, I always wear a sweatshirt and giant sweatpants and giant fuzzy socks at night. I don't know why, um, I get freezing at night and I don't like it. So tonight I had to shower later at like eight because your girl goes to bed early. It's okay, I gotta go to bed by 10. So I had to blow dry my hair tonight because I can't go to bed with wet hair because guess what? I will get sick and then I will cry. Hey, me again. So Max and I just had a finished up dinner a little bit ago and now we're doing the next part of our nightly routine, which is what I like to call big chillin'. <laughs> and we're gonna watch something. We usually watch, well, it depends on how much time we have, but we'll either watch a TV show, a movie, or a documentary, whatever we have time for that night, so. Nighttime is a special time of day for me. It is the time when I become full of energy and suddenly re remember all the things I should have done during the day. And I get kind of lit, but it's really stupid. Should have just done it during a normal hour. As you can see, I changed my clothes. I actually just took a shower. Obviously, I wasn't gonna film that for all you sick pervs. After I get out of the shower, I have a serial killer cat who likes to terrorize me, even though I'm obsessed with her. If I don't take my bath mat and hang it over the railing, she will pee all over it. Okay, so Nick is getting ready for his little mini bath. We're gonna do it in a sec. So this is the time where I move all my stuff from the, lawn the laundry room the living room into my room for the night. So my charger, my water bottle that I got to refill again, and then the breastfeeding pillow, the Bobby. So really, <laughs> oh, he's crying. He's getting his diaper changed. <coughs> of 
cool shot, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm taking my vitamins. Okay, and bath time. Okay, so now it's like a shower, brush my teeth, did my skincare routine, and it's like, okay, time for bed, but not really because it's kind of early now, not really time to sleep yet, but I just like to do that kind of earlier. So then the next thing I do is I will clean for a little bit, like 10, 20 minutes, so like something to just, you know, straighten up, pick up some trash, take some dishes down to the kitchen from the last week that I've been in your room for a week. Right now we're just gonna brush our teeth and none for you, Gretchen, because I don't brush my teeth on camera because I think it's kind of scary. So, okay guys, I'm back, my teeth are brushed. Now usually, before I brush my teeth, I floss them, but your girl ran out of floss today. And we're gonna skip to cracking open a cold one with the boys, AKA washing our mouths. I don't know what this does, but apparently it helps you not get cavities. So we don't do cavities in this house, just kidding, we do. But I brush twice a day, I floss at least once a day and I do mouthwash. So I don't know why I get cavities. Apparently it's a genetic thing. Don't ask me, I have no clue why. I just cry and pay the bills when I get them, you know? <laughs> I just felt like we said in that moment. So now that our teeth are cared for. Next, we wash our face. We decided we're gonna watch a show because we were doing a bunch of other stuff tonight and we don't really have that much time. So, and I feel like that kind of happens a lot. Also, Max, I was thinking another nightly tradition we kind of have is halfway through, usually one of us is like, I want a treat. <laughs> and then we go get a treat, which lately we've been having <clears throat> like, uh, popsicles and mm -hmm. dark chocolate covered sea salt caramel. That's like my fave. I think, I feel like I eat chocolate way more than you do. Probably. Watch a show, eat a treat. Very important part of the nightly routine. Definitely have been upgraded since the last video to an electric toothbrush, 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 toothbrush. I did that horror movie montage in the last one. Do you guys want to see that again? I'll get you, you meddling kids. It's time to make myself blind. I'm gonna take my little contacts, bloop, pop them onto these little trays. And I keep my contact solution under the counter in the cabinet because guess what? Why do you wanna be staring at all these mismatched products and labels <laughs> that don't look good together? Just put them under your sink. This is alcohol free. People are like, in, my, in, our, in our updated morning routine video, people are like, oh my gosh, don't use the one with the alcohol, it burns. Guess what? I use this one before I use the one with alcohol. I already knew that. I don't wanna breathe in the fumes. Okay, we just finished his bath and it was um, dramatic. Poor guy. So now I'm going to wash my face while Nick holds him for a bit and then I'm gonna feed him again because it's almost like an hour, more than an hour later. Oh, he's crying. So I'm gonna wash my face. And now we brush our teeth. I feel like I'm one of the only people in the world who doesn't have an electronic toothbrush. And say goodbye to these contacts. Goodbye. Goodbye. So yeah, there's a bit to unpack here. This is reality, guys, okay? This is a box of cookies. This is a box of muffins. This is tortilla chips. And this probably needs to go into the trash now because it has been unrefrigerated. And then this is dishes that need to go into the kitchen. And yes, my desk is sitting here backwards without a chair because unknown. And also this balloon says happy birthday with a dinosaur on it. Amy gave it to me and my birthday was over a month ago. So this is why we have to clean. So then I turn on my mood lighting. This thing here has like one of those color changing light bulbs that I can change from my phone. And I got these little twinkling guys. Really just gives me a nice vibe. Okay guys, it's on to our skincare. I'm 25, I should probably know more, but you know what? Since this whole like, you know, quarantine, corona time, I have been um, going to bed a lot later. So I'm trying to get back onto like a regular like 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. sleep schedule. Early to bed, early to rise. 
Nice man, healthy, wealthy, and wise. And I personally would like to be those things, I guess. And also I just naturally crash after like 9, 30 p.m. basically. Well, yawning right on cue. Next, I learned how to do something else slightly. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> I don't know where my cotton balls are, wait. Next, there's this thing called toner, apparently. I don't know what it does. I know that it's in printers or something. You are supposed to do something like this, but I could be totally wrong, guys. We're gonna do some moisturizer, which is just a daily moisturizing lotion that I put on my face because I think it's gentle, but I could be 100% dead freaking wrong about that. But let me tell you, it was a big deal to get myself to even do toner. Hello, here we are in our bathroom. <laughs> Both of us are not so great at filming, but we're about to brush our teeth. Um, Max already flossed because he flosses and then brushes and then I brush and then floss. Okay, so I'm more of like a night shower normally. I feel like I normally shower at night and you're normally more like in the morning. Daytime. Daytime shower, yeah. So I'm gonna take a shower and then what do you normally do while I shower at night? Wash my face, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, I thought you were gonna say like do your fantasy football or something. No. So yeah, he washes his face while I take a shower. So, you know, exciting stuff. This is where I put my wedding ring every night on my unicorn. So then I walk into my bedroom of wealth and I shut the door. Whatever cat is trapped in here will realize they are trapped and try to escape. So then I'll let them out. Um, anyway, so then I clear the junk off my bed. Tonight it was two Lisa Frank notebooks and a copy of a Steve Harvey book that I read six years ago. Since my last night routine video, something has changed. I sleep without a pillow. I got rid of my own pillow, but I bought Charles a puppy bed. It's really comfy, he loves it, he sleeps there every freaking night. I just washed my sheets, so I'm in for a cozy sleep. Usually this whole region, region? region is covered in cat hair because Charles sleeps right here and kind of like spoons my head. It's um, really sweet. Oh, I forgot. Mm, I gotta turn the air down. Okay. Um, I'd love to say that I lay down and go to sleep like I, like I did in the last video, which was true at that time. But now I'm gonna take my laptop and put on The Office and watch that until I fall asleep. I know it's not ideal. That is actually a bad habit that my mother warned me against as a child. So I'm gonna put my TV watching pillow, which is like a little chair, on the bed. Charles, say goodnight. Say goodnight to the peasants. Not my problem. All right, so this little guy had his bath, which he did not like. And now I'm gonna feed him again. And then I'm putting him to bed and then waking up a bunch of times. So that is my current nighttime routine with a one month old. I'm sure it'll change a lot, but that's my current nighttime routine. And then I'll get in my bed, you know, scroll the gram a bit, whatever. And then I'm like, all right, no more of that. <laughs> Not really, but I try to tell myself that. I'm gonna read a bit. Um, I'm reading this book right now. No Man is an Island. Some good nuggets if you're looking for some really deep literature about, you know, the meaning of life and how to function in this world. And then I will go to bed or I just, you know, chat. I'm like, hey God, what's up? How's it going? How was my day? Well, then, you know, ask for some guidance. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys. That's pretty much what I do at night. Um, my night routine is way better than my morning routine, as you saw. But I'm just more of a night person than a morning person, so I like to do more at night. Like, I don't want to be like, 6 a.m., yeah, you know? But, like, if you are trying to put a bunch of stuff into your morning routine, it's just not happening, move it to nighttime, where you probably have more time and energy if you are, like, me. Hey guys, so now we're on to our next part. Well, my hair looks very bright and that is journaling. So let me show you my journal. I've been journaling almost every day. Some years I'll skip a month or two or three or four. I have done this since like 2008. So I have like boxes, like a box of journals. This is my journal. It says take risks because that's what we need to do in this house is take some risks because we don't risk it for any biscuit around here. So we're just trying to, you know, learn and take risks. So I will see you after I journal <laughs> because y'all, first of all, my handwriting, atrocious. When I journal, God only knows himself what I write because I sometimes, most of the time, can't read it back to myself because I'm like, 
I don't know what you're saying. It's like past 5.30 and your girl is starting to crack up. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we're on to night prayer. On my little bookcase in my bed, I have a little corner set up with like some prayer candles and rosaries. I pray rosary and try not to fall asleep during my rosary because I get very tired. You know, say hey God and thanks God and you're a great dude. Okay guys, well, it is now 10.25. I got pulled off track by an unforeseen force, one that I think we all kind of battle with, and that force would be TikTok. All right, guys, so I just took my shower. Now we're gonna go to bed on our cloud. We call our bed our cloud because- Very soft. It feels like a cloud. It's really comfy. I almost said, good night, love you guys. <laughs> I'm your dad calling you. Okay, love you, good night. <laughs> I forgot this part of the night routine when Charles climbs on my belly. His little face. All right, well, that's all the time we have, folks. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. You love the same <laughs> He's like, okay, lady, you've had enough. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, I will see you. No, I won't see you. You'll see me in the next video. I love you all so dearly, and I will see you in our next video. Good night. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, bye. Get out of my room. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna call the cops. Why are you in my room?